Hello guys, my name is Rohit Kumar Thakur and in the last video uh, we have seen how to install and use Streamlight. Now in this video uh, we are gonna work on the New York Collision dataset. So let's continue the video. Uh, here we define the dataset URL. This dataset is provided by the New York uh, Traffic Police Department and I will provide the link to the dataset in the description. Uh, you can easily download it from there. Before defining the data loading function, I use Streamlight cache and set the presets to true. This is because uh, we want to load the data at once uh, so that uh, we are gonna use it again and again smoothly. And if you have a large data set then uh, using a Streamlight cache makes your application smooth and faster because it memoizes the data. Here in the data variable uh, you can use either the data URL tuple as defined above or you can directly use the dataset link. The drop na function method uh, removes the row that contain null values. Here I wanna drop the null values of longitude and latitude because uh, we wanna compute the value and use it in the data visualization. Now uh, here I used a lambda function to return the data in lowercase because I want to rename the column uh, crash date and crash time to date uh, to date slash time and make it lowercase. Then at last uh, we simply return the data. The data set is of the size I think nearly 1,70,000 or more but let's just work on a 1 lakh data set for now. Now we are going to see the raw data. Simply click on the checkbox and you will see the data set. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna see where are the most people injured in the New York City. You may be wondering if the code recommendation is doing magic, uh, but it's not magic, it's a GitHub Copilot. Yeah, it works like a magic, uh, uh, you can use it as well. Uh, right now, it's free for I think 60 days or something like that. Uh, but if you uh, wanna use Copilot, uh, then I would recommend you to check the Copilot uh, recommended code because sometimes the recommended codes uh, is slightly different than what we expected. Yeah. 
you can see that uh, you can use the slider to check the number of people getting injured in the New York City. On the map, uh, you can see the depiction of the data. That's it for this video and I'm trying to make videos of a smaller length uh, so you can learn uh, one thing at a time and it's a fun to learn something and take a break. Uh, so see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for more project based videos on React Native, Python, Data Science, Django and Machine Learning.